Well, on behalf of Joshua, John Lynn, and their families, I want to welcome you this evening. And thank you for being here to celebrate God joining Joshua and John Lynn together in marriage. They've invited you here because they want you to be witnesses, that's for sure. But they also want you to join them in worshiping God because of this sacred union together. Marriage is a sweet gift of God. It's given to us by Him for our enjoyment and for His glory. It's a unique blessing that gives us a glimpse of a deeper reality. So as we consider marriage, I want you to be thinking about this. Think about the union of Christ with the bride, the church. The creation of marriage was designed to display Jesus' incomprehensible love and His sacrifice for the bride. Everything that our Savior did in His life, death, and resurrection was for the bride's eternal good. What's up, everybody? <laughs> so yes, we're here to celebrate John Lynn and Josh. We're here to celebrate their love, but we also want to be mindful this evening of the greater reality behind this marriage tonight. And that's what this marriage is intended to reflect, the love that Jesus has for his own bride, the church. So, marriage is God's idea. It's not an invention of men. It's not a cultural convention. It's not some creation of the state. No, marriage is a holy institution, created, defined, and given to us by God himself. I, Joshua, take you, John Lynn, to be my wife. I, Joshua, take you, Josh, John Lynn, <laughs> to be my wife. Committed to you alone from this day forward. Committed to you alone from this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. In poverty or in wealth. In poverty or in wealth. In sickness or in health. In sickness or in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part, or the Lord returns. Till death do us part, or the Lord returns. <laughs> I, John Lynn, take you, Joshua, to be my husband. I, John Lynn, take you, Joshua, to be my husband. Committed to you alone from this day forward. Committed to you alone from this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. In poverty or in wealth. In poverty or in health. In wealth. sickness or in <laughs> health. <laughs> in sickness or in health. To honor and to obey. <laughs> to honor and to obey. Till death do us part or the Lord returns. Till death do us part or the Lord returns. Joshua, I promise to follow your leadership. Joshua, I promise to follow your leadership. And honor your decisions. <laughs> and honor your decisions. As you seek to follow the Lord. As you seek to follow the Lord. Great. The wedding ring is an outward, visible sign of an inward spiritual reality. And as you see the ring on one another's finger, let it also remind you of God's faithfulness, God's love for you individually and for you as husband and wife. John Lynn, I give you this ring. John Lynn, I give you this ring. As an outward seal of my covenant. As an outward seal of my covenant. Before God to you in marriage. Before God to you in marriage. May it be an unending reminder of my love and devotion. May it be an unending reminder of my love and devotion. To you alone as my wife. To you alone as my wife.
Joshua, I give you this ring. Joshua, I give you this ring. As an outward seal of my covenant. As an outward seal of my covenant. Before God to you in marriage. Before God to you in marriage. May it be an unending reminder of my love and devotion. May it be an unending reminder of my love and devotion. To you alone as my husband. To you alone as my husband. By the authority delegated to me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I declare that Joshua and John Lynn are now husband and wife. And according to the laws of the state of California and the ordinance of God, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Joshua, you may now kiss your brother. Will you please stand? Family and friends, we are so, so thankful that you came out tonight. And it is my great pleasure to introduce you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Joshua Kuhn.